Greetings everyone, I'm Napoleon Complex. Today we're going to be fighting the Battle of Apros, 1305 AD. We're going to be fighting as the Catalan Company, and I will just give you a chance to read the blurb if you would like to have a look at it. So here we are. Right, we're deployed on Hell, so that's going to be a Hell Battle. Not a massive fan of that, that automatically gives the initiative to the enemy. Small number of mounted knights and a larger force of allied Turkmen cavalry. So we've got a, lar a small number of sh elite shock troops supported by cavalry archers. Interesting dynamic. Uh, the Catalans want revenge against Michael and the Allens for the murder of Roger de Flor. Yep, I familiarised myself with that in the briefing. And a much larger Byzantine army is deployed into three lines, mercenary Allen and Turkopoli horse archers and the vanguard, Byzantine cavalry on a second line and the infantry in the rear. So we're going to get into a shooting match with the first rank. They're then facing us down with cavalry and then if we manage to break through all of that, we've got infantry waiting to kill us. So it's going to be a battle of exhaustion, but hopefully if we can get enough route percentage, we can win it bef Okay, we can't move, they have initiative. Oh, so we can't move yet. Well, at least let's take a look at the situation. So we're playing on King, so of course we're going to be outmatched. Let's see, I've got Al Mulgavars. They're lightly impact protected. The lightly protected impacts of foot and swordsman, which is not what we particularly want when we're receiving a cavalry charge. Now we are facing the Allen cavalry. They're somewhat disheartened. I think that means that they're average quality, but their morale's low. Right, so they're going to be horse archers. What do I have to actually respond to that? I've got a handful of cattle and crossbowmen. Almost, well, almost no knights that are actually mounted. And my infantry really don't have a great answer to this great mass of horse archers. Hmm. And my skirmishers aren't numerous enough to really cause much damage to them. This is going to be a problem. I've uh, got my Turkmen cavalry are enormously outnumbered. I don't think fighting these guys is going to be the way to victory. Or at least it's going to be the hardest part. Our skirmish horse are also severely outnumbered by the Allen White Horse. And uh, at least their horse archers are not javelin cavalry. Behind that, even more horse archers. Fantastic. We're then facing Thracian cavalry that are above average. How does that compare to our troops? So we are above average at least. Remember this is on king difficulty, so they believe these would be superior. So they might be a bit better than normal above average troops. And we've got dismounted cavals, our mats, basically dismounted knights. And more on will give us. Again, impact foot not well suited to taking a charge from Thracian cavalry. What about the Macedonian cavalry? How are they different? They're exactly the same. Okay, basically just flavor text. And then at the back we've got a relatively weak infantry line, but by the time we get through all of that it may be too late. Well, I'm terrified already, but while I'm coming up with a strategy plan we may as well see the enemy's opening moves. Right, before I even have a chance to respond, we're already in charge range. There's not going to be any falling back to a better position. Right off the bat, before I can do anything, we're disrupted. At least that you didn't... At least that unit held firm. Right, how on earth am I going to get myself out of this one? Uh, hold back for the minute, but I want to... First strike advantage is really, really important in these kinds of situations. Um... If we leave, let them charge, they'll come through and hit our crossbowmen. It would be really nice if I could get a lucky disrupt on those target holes. Oh, right, okay. 
I have to be aggressive here. I have to be proactive. So let's, I'm just really, really going for the disrupt here. Okay, they're disrupted. If they're not careful, they could break through suddenly. And that might allow me to hit them with the knights. So let's get our knights heading in the relevant directions. Crossbows on this flank. Again, they are the perfect targets. We'll hit them as well from short range. Good. An early disruption is important. That somewhat disheartened status has come in handy. But that's not going to save us if I can't win the firepower battle. So my infantry are going to have to take some heat. Look at these old Mulgavars out on their own. Um, it, ideally, if we weren't so close, I would bring them in. Uh, we've got Lancers as well to exploit the gap in my lines. Something has to be done about this. Right. The marsh does somewhat complicate the situation for the enemy, but it also narrows my own options. It will mean if they enter the space that they'll get disordered. I take it we're not within charge range. That's important. But we are within charge range here, which means I can't drop back. It is rough ground here, so they will be at a disadvantage shooting. And staying here really isn't an option because I won't get to use the high ground if the Tarkopoles just attack. Right, at least I have some firepower concentration on the right. Let's see if I can score an early disruption here. No such luck. And let's just hold back and let the, the narrowing of the terrain do its job in this flank. Well, that helps. Okay, maybe we're not all dead meat after all. Javelin. Oh, so that was enough to force a cohesion test. Okay, okay, we get it. Um, I was wondering about that, why we need to get 80% route percentage. Right, with that situation completely resolved, I think we should... Wow. <laughs> um, okay, so we need to get 20% more route percentage. Let's take a look at what's left of the enemy army, I'm feeling. Funnily enough, I'm feeling a bit more confident now. Uh, we are facing... Three, let's see, one, two, three, four, five, six. Got 12 units of Thracian cavalry, and we've got the um, Scatatoi behind them, defensive spearmen. Now, let's. T I think what we can do is if we concentrate our infantry against one flank and our cavalry against. Hmm, uh, wait, let's see about this. Hmm. I still don't have quite enough frontage, do I? 
Right, what we'll do, because I think we're now expected to advance, I don't think they're going to come to us anymore. But we'll turn here and open up a gap. Because I want to match my knights to their Macedonian cavalry. And that's where we're going to try and punch through. So we'll drop, hopefully, a complete line of battle against them here. I'm going to have my horse archers focus down at these Thracian cavalry here. We're going to try and break them with missile fire. So we'll shift these units forward just a little bit. And I turn back. Okay. It's a shame we lost our skirmishers in that. If I'd known that was going to happen, I wouldn't have done anything. Ah, so they are going to advance on us. That makes their job even easier because they're going to leave their infantry behind. Just stay on the hill and I think we should be fine here. Right, with that, if they're coming to us, I'll just drop back slightly. We can attack them when the time is right. Keep our skirmishers on the, over here. As they enter, uh, enter firing range, we can shoot at them. So they'll make a nice target for our skirmishers when the time comes. Let's see, this unit needs to move along to here and turn. Move along to here and turn. My Catalan crossbows have the advantage of height, but I want them to focus on the end unit. So they should move to here and turn. They should have a nice view of Macedonian cavalry from that angle. Um, Turkmen horse move to the flanks. And let's see, Turkmen cavalry. Stay there and look menacing. And I'm going to give you guys the same advice, but from slightly higher up on the hill. So they're entering a nice little killing zone that we're organizing for them here. I need to watch out for those uh, Valachian light, those Latch light horse. Um, let's see. Uh, hmm. This gap in the line really isn't doing anything for me. Uh, I think we should probably pull back just a little bit. Right, next turn. Oh, wait a second, and we can bring the knights forward to fill this part of the line. Because we have a very small army, and I need everyone to be more. Interesting choice. They're pulling off towards the flanks. Okay, that's a little bit problematic, actually. I didn't expect the AI would actually take my flank threat seriously. Close. Hmm. And now the lights are coming forward. We were almost within bow shot there. Hmm. Okay, well if they're not going to come directly at us, then I'm going to have to come towards them. Start to head towards the troops. We're going to try and close the distance against them here. here. Let's see. And since they're going this way, hmm, try and pull them down into the marsh. Let's see. Well, ideally, I'd bring in my other units to shoot now. Just see how they respond to that. Close them down. Same idea on the other flank. Start to close them down. Uh, well, gradually close them down. I would say reorient towards this flank. It's a situation's a little less extreme here. Let's see, pull them back since that's not going to achieve anything, and we'll castle them in. Right. Okay, next turn. There's nothing else I can do anyway. Yep, expected that move. Good, that's left them right where I wanted them. They're wasting their time in the archers in the marsh. I 
I need to beat the cavalry before the infantry arrive. Or at least before they arrive in force. These light horse are going to be a complicating factor, as I no longer have an SL superiority on the left. Really didn't expect the AI to be smart enough to do this. It's throwing me off guard. Right. They're unmaneuverable, so I'm going to... Let's see. They've, they've already generaled up. We have to go for this, pin them in place, and that should leave them trapped against us here. Right. Now, I'm guessing this isn't going to be pretty. No, it won't be. Hmm. Shoot them in the face. Okay, shoot them again in the face. Even if they don't disrupt, I want them weak enough that they'll uh, just be, will be able to break them through fire alone. Right. And since this unit is offering such, making itself such a tempting target. Now let's see. If we can position infantry there, that's going to slow them down significantly. Only if... General up. Oh, but that's what's blocking them in. See, I can't have it all my own way. But if they do charge into us, they'll be exposing their flanks. So, I say we stay where we are. And I wish, I had, I wish I'd given them the general now, because that charge is going in the open is going to be nasty. Right, the right. This is actually the flank I'm most worried about now. Since they've been kind enough to come into range, hit them. Pull these units. Never than charge distance. That sudden movement by the enemy really caught me off guard. You can see I was not ready for that whatsoever. Push in here, turn, fire, and hope that they charge and do something really stupid. They've disrupt we disrupted them with that shot. Uh, with that, I'm not going to reveal anything, so I can pull back. I can turn like that. Interesting. So maybe we can get a disrupt on the black light horse. None of those kinds of casualties we won't. But I'm hoping that they'll drive us back and it might expose them to some flank attacks here. I particularly want them to blunder into range of my knights. Right, next turn because I don't think there's anything else I can do anyway. Good. They, right, not quite what I wanted them to do. I was hoping they'd break through altogether. Might be able to get a fragmentation there if we're lucky. <laughs> yes, come into range of our knights. Okay, hopefully my light horse are, aren't stupid enough to take that fight. That does mean we're going to take a lot of fire here. Please charge us. No, they're not that stupid. Interesting choice. That means that gives us some protection for the moment. They're starting to die. Right, hit this unit again while it's trapped against us. These are the only two targets available. You know, just keep hitting them. Right. And shoot them here as well. Okay. Hmm. Give this unit the general as planned. We're now exposed to a charge here. How do we do in this melee? Do we win a fragmentation? Nope. We've got knights coming on. Okay, just keep that going for now. Uh, I really do need to do something about this, though. Engaging will just bounce them off. I want them trapped there. Charge! 
Charge, charge. And we've got Lancers coming along here. Let's see. This is where I need to make some important decisions. We'll obviously go for the disrupt here. Okay, managed to cause them lots of casualties here. Hmm, unfortunately, because of this light foot unit, light light horse unit, I can't really do much about this. Pin them in place. And start to come around. Yep, yeah, that's exactly what we wanted to catch them in this kind of formation here. Okay, so that will help. This unit of Macedonian cavalry is in major trouble unless it can get some help. Right. Not the Tur Turkmen cavalry, that rather. I really, really hate being this passive. Um. What am I waiting for? If I don't kill them quickly, then uh, things are going to go wrong for us. Right, there we go. Be a bit more proactive. Okay. So yes, that might mean we get engaged from the front, but then they're just going to get hit in the flank if we do get disrupted. So as long as we don't fragment, we'll be fine. Next turn. Uh, hold on a second. Am I really going to do nothing with this, these horses? Because I can move to here, and then I might be able to get a flank attack off against these Macedonian cavalry. It does mean I'm increasingly exposed. We're in a hurry. We're bracing against the time anyway. Do it. Set it up. And that means I can maybe... I'd be taking a huge risk if I decided to engage here. And they might just drop back anyway. No, hold them in position for the moment. And next turn. To be expected from above average cavalry, so we can't complain. Not that there would be any point in complaining anyway. The infantry line is bearing down on me now. Remember, their infantry are poor quality, so if we can rush them, we might be able to win the battle with a shocking charge. Especially when I've got these uh, dismounted um, knights. There are so many Byzantines in the field. Well, it's deity. What do you expect? We could go after these guys if we're feeling insane. They're not dropping back and they're not uh, giving ground. They're going to break. Sure. Pin them in against their own light horse. And they've changed direction, so... At least we got something out of that, but that was 9% gone. Right, hit them with the flank charge, and that will give our troops an advantage we need to win before they crash in. To us. Okay. Right. They've decided to engage here. That. Shoot them down here. And then we might be able to nudge them off the field. That's yeah, fine. Whatever works. I'm not a choosy person. If we could get them to stick in melee, this flank attack would be possible. I mean, as it is, it's not really hugely effective because they'll just be able to back out of it. might just push them into the auto break. Right, they are the more probable... Hmm. 
Oh, but hit them instead. Because I know the rules, that's not going to stop from them from drawing back just because I'm threatening the square directly. Um, I really want to do something with that. I don't suppose that was, they'll stay in melee with us? No, they'll just let them escape. Curses. Right, um... We're going to have to put up with that unwelcome guest as we engage the enemy's infantry line. Start to turn our force towards the threat. And what can I do here? Well, we're just really holding them in check there, so there's nothing I can really do with that. Hmm. By all means, keep that going. I think on that note we end the, the turn. We're now starting to come with a ranged pressure. Hmm. That could work. They're only defensive spearmen. They're not going to be very, able to charge us very easily. So even though there's a line opening up against us here, there is something I can do about it. Right, that's fine. I was trying to just keep them in place. You guys are going to have to run for it if you can. Then they're going, they might fragment us. Yep. No, we didn't manage to disrupt them in time. I did my best. So they're going to get hit in the back while we struggle with the enemy front ranks. That was not a good place for us to rout into. Thankfully, I can. I at least do have an option. Oh, oh, that could work. Yeah, hit them there. Pin them in. Uh, if I move out the way, can we charge? No, I can't. Um, just try and get past them here. Right, that gets them out the way of that particular danger. Because then they can set up for a flank attack. Might need to use my light cavalry to hold them up here. Uh, right, start shooting this unit down, I guess. Okay. Once we're past the impact problem, they're going to start suffering badly. But we've also got these poor film... The Lamatoira and might benefit from postponing this for turn, but every turn I postpone, I get shot at. I think we're better off engaging and just going for the risk of uh, getting flanked. I cannot hold this off another moment. Don't care about getting shot in the face if it's only by one archer unit, so when there's more than one hitting you, then it becomes dangerous. Uh, they are badly wounded now. I could try and push through and push towards the enemy here. I think that's just opening a flank attack. I'd really rather keep my options open here, keep the pressure on them to advance here, and then I can respond if they try and flank my line. Now, the only way this is going to go, is, uh, go in our favour is if we get some kind of miracle and start slaughtering these guys. Now, it, it wasn't even a physical chance. The only thing that could have saved us there was an auto break, and it just didn't happen. And all, each of these routes has only given me 1%. And that they just blundered into a flank attack. Uh, I would do something about this if it wasn't for the fact that my general is over here. And that is going to be absolutely horrible. And even if we win it, it's not going to be very nice after that. 
this up where we're up in the hill is nicer, but yeah, we're going to get flanked here, and then it's going to be horrible pretty much from then on out. I don't think we're going to win this, but at least it's given me some ideas for next time. And we're completely trapped here. You know, this is now shaping up to be a defeat, at least on the left, and it's not looking much better on the right. Oh, that... Wait. Oh, wow. Okay. That might help. If we can win quickly enough. Are they going to concentrate fire? Of course, they go straight to this map. It's fragmented. Chase all over the shop, but that's fine as long as we don't actually get hit. <laughs> would have been nice if that general had been around to affect someone else by dying. And unfortunately, they're going to break, but they're going to break in a nice, lighted way. Interesting choice. Should have let them break first. That might panic my knights. They're they're superior, so there's not much of a chance of it. But now they're out on their own. Please tell me that you're making some progress. No. Right, they're facing that way. That means they'll take a bit of time to respond. Hopefully, try and break through the arches quickly. Fragmented, okay, they pushed back, but that's fine, I can cover that. Um, I'm gonna have to hit them here. And we fragmented them here as well. Okay. Where there's life, there's hope, and especially when there's breaks, there's hope. Let's see what we've got available to us here. Can we fragment them? shot at here. I really wanted to bring these units up and support. Um, see, this is the key point. This is where we really need to focus our attention. Okay, we're not, we're not really not having much luck here. What I think I will do now, now I will push these units forward. <laughs> that put us ahead of the curve a little bit. Right. Um, I wish I'd held back now with these, because these units will just still get shot down. We can still take care of them. Um, right, we're actually low on ammo here, so I can't really do much else with these forces. I take it these units are also probably starting to run a little low. Uh, it would be kind of nice to get out of charge range, since this impact would be nasty. For our Tarkomans. Because if I pull back any further, they can turn back towards this fight, but that's just a risk we're going to have to take, I think. And Thracian cavalry will also drop back, so the more units I can draw off with these Tarkomans, the better. And if they're going to draw off troops, then they have to be they have to survive long enough to actually draw anyone off. Okay, and on that somewhat unsettling note, I think that's all we can do for now. This flank is absolutely horrible. Is there any... No, there's no way my general's going to get over. But we broke... We are getting a lot of luck here. And a, and a disruption! Okay, right. I need to move absolutely correctly to prevent this flank attack from going off. If it was a flank attack, that would be somewhat tempting. Shoot them for now, there's not much else I can do. 
You know what? Just move here. That way, hopefully, they'll charge you and get ch and chase off into the blue rather than um, try and fire at you. We might get charged here. Those latch light horse are probably quite good against my crossbowmen. We'll just have to see what happens. setting up the flank, but they're not going to get it in time. They are going to get it in time against our knights, though. Lucky disrupt. Mm, but they've almost been shot to pieces anyway. These are going to be able to break through here. The right set of moves. That's incredibly lucky. That saves our lives. Or at least prolongs them. We weren't able to break them in time. We're obviously going to start failing here. Let's take a look on the right flank. It's a little happier. Uh, I hope everyone will forgive the inherent cheat. Oh, right. Darn it! Hold on a second, let me just test something. No, we can't move over. I was going to block the men. But we can block the men with my heavy cavalry. It means giving up on the chance of finishing off these guys. Uh, what else is on the menu? Because cheese may not be the, may not actually be what I want to consume. I've broken through with these on Mulgavars. And they're kind of blocking them in. So it's a question of what do I want to do here? Can we we can turn around like that allows that at least allows me to alleviate this flank threat. I need to plan what I'm going to do next here very carefully. I have to say that move would be logical. Hit them here, prevent them from disrupting any more of my units. Um, what I would like to do is get around and start hitting these units here. But since they're only poor troops, I wonder... Because they, the logical thing is they charge in and they are going to then try to flank me. And I think I know the series of moves we need to make. Hit them! Okay. Turn them, and they're going to engage the enemy next turn. I need to watch out for the cavalry responding to that. Um, but it's a move I need to make. Now, that means that this unit here, being um, impact foot and able to maneuver, they can move, they can turn to here. Okay. Now. Do I want to get this flank attack? Do I want to shoot? I should probably start by shooting here. So we can finally get that disruption, that fragmentation. That means that the pressure's kind of off for me to... Um... Okay, I think I am actually going to go for that cheeky flank attack. This is going to hurt like hell. We hail firm, crush them. Another day, another headache dealt with. And the light troops, frankly, aren't good for much at this point, and I'd be better off using them to try and finish off the Thracian cavalry. Um, we'll do something with these Tarkaman horse next turn. I am worried about those Thracian cavalry, but there's not much I can do about it for now. This unit should just try and evade and try and circle back to the fight if you can. Uh, in the meantime, at least you're luring off that unit. Isn't this... I love this. 
Looks like we're not quite going to be able to get them. Okay, that's, that might not have worked out as well as I thought it would. Um, we need everyone to stay firm here. No. Right then, at least charge down hell, try and crush them. Obviously, nothing's good over here. Life is just generally bad. Attacking out is only going to make it worse. We're just in kind of a bad way here. Keep hopping away, uh, keep drawing them off, and look out for them. Angle this way just in case they decide to go after my cat and crossbow instead. Oh, and turn that way at least. You can, that way you'll get... Oh, we can fire. Well, at least we get one casualty out of this. And next turn. This is coming very, very close. Yeah, that's going to be really, really nasty. We're going to see the collapse of the section of my army. Oh, really clever, lads. Thanks for the free fragmentation, though. Oh, I love this. Please, keep keep doing this. <laughs> well, it was only a fool's hope. That means we're probably going to have to go to 80% here. I don't want to go to 80%. One thing I will say I was wrong about, so, so much for not having to fight the uh, Byzantine infantry. Everything's just determined to go wrong on that flank, isn't it? <coughs> and the cavalry went this way, that goes to my favour. Oh goody! That's they've been guided right into the end, right into my troops' flank. Though that might end up working slightly in my favour. We're going to get flanked here, whatever happens. So we might as well get flanked by something useful. Okay, we've got absolutely no chance here. At least my men are determined to die bravely. Didn't even what was that a nine? That was a ninety-six percent chance they lost. Does that cause a panic? No, they held firm. Okay, hit them here. And hit them here. This fight's now going to go on for a while. Uh, let's see. I might even have end up doing this in two parts. Hold them in place. And if they're... Let's see what they're silly enough to do in terms of exposing them. Hold on a second. Which direction do they turn to fire at that unit? Right, let's, let's just see if they're silly enough to uh, expose their flanks again. Because I love it when the enemy do my job for me. It makes my life so much easier. Right, just try and get away from them now. We're going to try and circle back towards the battlefield. Um, my troops are a lot more valuable than their troops. I can't afford to have them constantly serve as a distraction action. Now here, we've got an impact situation. So once we get into combat with them, we're going to start taking casualties. Give them the general, because well, let's just see. We might want to try and win here quickly. Hmm, but that's not impact. Okay, I think I know what I want to do here. Hit them hard here. Right in the face. Hope we don't get a pushback. Make sure we right. Make sure we turn, and then hit them. Smash into them here as well. Right. 
that'll do for now. You guys are fine facing there because you're probably going to be heading in that direction anyway. Uh, sorry, lads. Guess we'll be saying our goodbyes now. Here. I see. I think we've won. If it's the standard 25% difference, we'll have won next turn. If it's a 40% difference, then we won't have. Let me just check battle rules. 25% more than we. I think we're going to do this. Twenty-one percent now, so we need four percent to come from somewhere before another one of my units breaks. But I don't, they've broken all of the easy targets. Almost all of the easy targets. I don't know what kind of noise I made there, but it probably wasn't healthy. Please tell me you broke those archers. We break one more unit, maybe two. Okay, two more units. And this is over and in our favor. Fortunately, we can't charge those archers. They would have made the perfect target. I could have done with being told that we had better odds than that. Hit them anyway. It's an instant break. We're going to do it. It's 26%. I don't think, as long as these units manage to get away, we'll be, right, a few things can go wrong here. I'd say the main thing is to just not get knocked off the map next turn. That's fine. Okay, good. Um... What else can go horrifically wrong for us? Can we get them in the... We can get them in the back. Right, this is all about racking up route percentage in a short period of time. This is when we need to break them. So I'm not worried about the usual caveats. Okay. <laughs> They've just fragmented. Right. Uh, unfortunately, they're facing us now, so I can't actually do anything there. Uh, that's a shame. That's a real... That's a crying shame. Threaten those archers. Just, well... Hmm. Because they are just, otherwise they'll just stop me from charging anyway. Um, what I can do is I can start to move these archers around and they can block the enemy cavalry and we can block them in at some point. Since I don't have... Well, hold on a second. Let's do some contingency planning. I have this unit available to break the Thelanatori Skatautoi, but they might rally, so it's a question of which threat I'm more worried about this unit actually managing to get around the flanks. Or this unit rallying up. And given how close the battle is, I think this is the bigger threat. It's not a huge threat. It's not one I'm particularly worried about actually materializing. But it is a threat, so I am moving to counter it. Uh, pass the general along to someone over here who actually needs him. And, uh... Right, give them the general so they can give these guys a good thumping. So they've pulled back. That at least alleviates the flank threat, even though it means I'm not going to be able to break that unit. You guys have done your job. Just stay out of trouble. And now on the left flank here, as long as these guys don't break this turn, we'll basically be fine. Although maybe we could charge them now. These guys are off into our camp, but like so many troops that go off and loot the camp, they're going to do absolutely nothing to influence the battle. And dramatic tension, isn't it? Let's 
Well, you can beat up my knights all you want, but I've still won. Oh, how cute. <laughs> and they, all, they, they even managed to fragment themselves. Got to say, this Byzantine army is not looking quite so scary anymore, is it? Okay, a lot went right for us there. I'm being very cocky for someone who came so close to defeat. But in the end, we won pretty decisively. 65% is not bad. <laughs> the enemy has lost heart. I am victorious. I think, funnily enough, we'll let the slaughter end. I'm not saying we'll all die if I try and fight on, but we will probably all die if I try and fight on. And there you go, there's the evidence I won it on King. Thank you everyone, I've been Napoleon Complex. Please consider liking and subscribing if you enjoyed the content, and I will see you in the next one. Farewell!